uh, you need a birthday card and you need it quick because you forgot about your friend's birthday. Hang with me. I've got you covered. All right, let's get to these quick birthday cards. I'm using a variety of stamp sets from The Essentials by Ellen Line from Ellen Hudson. Some have birthday sentiments in them, some do not. Uh, this is a, a brave. Is that right? Brave. 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 Ah, I think it's Brave. A Brave note. Uh, it's coffee stamp set. So I went ahead and stamped that little cappuccino cup. And I'm adding some color with my alcohol markers. Use Crayolas, use pencils, use whatever you've got just to give it a little bit of color and shading. So I'll go along the outline of that cup with a gray marker. That uh, sentiment is pretty funny. I forgot to. It's your birthday. Uh, anyway, so add a little something. Now you can leave it here and this card's good to go and it probably took you 30 seconds to do or you can go a little extra step further. This set also has a coordinating die. So I'm going to cut out the little cappuccino cup and I'll end up adhering the cappuccino cup down flat. So I'm going to grab my little glue runner here and adhere that down flat. So I'm basically using the other panel as a placeholder so I know where to put the cup. And then I will pop that panel up with some foam dimension. Now this extra step takes about a minute. Uh, so if you literally have to run out the door, you can skip this. But uh, And since I was such in a hurry, I took this stripe set also from Ellen Hudson, stamped it, but I stamped it crooked. I'm not starting over, so I'll show you how I fix that. First, I'm going to pop this panel up with some foam dimension, and then I'll adhere that right onto the card. I love this foam dimension. It just peels right off. You don't need to cut it with scissors or anything. You just tear it with your hands, and you're good to go. So I'm popping that up, and again, my little stripes are somewhat crooked. No big whoop de doo I took a marker and kind of straightened it out a little bit. It's not perfect, but it works. The design is cute right? Moving on, moving on. This is Everyday Doodles, also from Ellen. And I'm just stamping some of the balloons. I'm using all Catherine Puller inks here. So I'm just kind of creating my own pattern paper, if you will, with this one balloon set or balloon stamp. Now this is Everyday Doodles. So there's a bunch of cute little images in there, but also solid stamps so you can fill them in instead of coloring which works for me, right? Especially if you're in a hurry. So I'm taking the solid image that colors in the balloons and just stamping them in a yellow and pink color also from Catherine. All of my supplies that I'm using will be linked below in the description for you. And also, if you have a moment and you're not subscribed, I'd love it if you would subscribe to my channel. Just because I'd love to have you. You know what I'm saying? All right, so I'm going and finishing this up. What a bang, what a boom. I've got this cute little background. I took a black gel pen, added some squiggles or sprinkles or whatever you want to call them. And then I will take a sentiment that I also found from my Ellen Hudson stash. Stamp that with white ink onto black cardstock heat embossing. This card is completo. Complete. We're rocking and rolling two cards down. So this video is to give you different design ideas you can do for your last minute birthday cards. So choose one, wing it, alter it how, you know, to your style. This is a fun stamp set. It's called Abstract Paint Strokes, and this is one of the kind of blobs, if you will, that gives you this beautiful watercolored look. So I just inked it up with that party dress ink pad, sprayed a lot of water on it, and slammed it down onto my card. I did that because I wanted a little bit of splatter. So then I'll stamp the happy birthday stamp set, or it's not really a stamp set, it's an image from the stamp set. And then I'll add a little dash lines around the corner there. I will flick on some black paint because this is, you know, kind of goes with the abstract feeling of the stamp set. And this card is done. Paint, ink, whatever. You can splatter it on there and get a really fun artistic look for your card. I think that's hilarious. I wet that stamp and just smacked it down on my card and I got all that splatter. <laughs> all right, I'm going to take the same two color inks that I've been using. I'm pressing that onto my glass surface there, wetting it with some regular water. You could do some like sparkle water, like perfect pearls if you want. And then I'm just going to paint on some stripes. That is just a flat edged paintbrush. And then mixing the color, just having fun. So I've created my own little plaid background, simply stamped a, a sentiment there. That card is complete, but the background is really fun, I think. This was probably a 30-second card. Then I'm going to take the same ink, 
add a little bit more water and press my cardstock. Now this is watercolored cardstock, by the way, uh, just to get that beautiful wash of watercolor on the background. I did dry this with my heat tool because, you know, this is last minute birthday cards. Uh, you don't have time to sit there and watch the paint dry. Then I've got this gorgeous stamp set. It's called Mondo Sakura. That image pretty much takes up the whole cover of your card. So this makes for great card making. I love that. No masking required. That stamp already has it for you. I stamped it on a background there that I actually did not show on camera for some reason, but I just took a paintbrush and just swiped all the color that was on my glass mat to create that background. Uh, here's the wash that we created by pressing the watercolored cardstock onto the glass mat. Again, just adding a few sentiments. Uh, you can mix them. I'm sure that you have birthday sentiments in your stash. If not, if you have good handwriting, you could just speed it along even faster by writing your sentiment on there. Again, this is the background that I did not show on camera, but it's a paintbrush. I just painted it like for real, the background. And here I am finishing off this sentiment here. Now, if you have stamps in your stash and you want to maybe stack them or whatever, you can cut your sentiments like birthday wishes. This was a stamp set that was one or a image that was one. Uh, sentiment and I just cut it in half because I wanted to stack it. So don't be afraid to do that. You can do it. It's going to be okay because you can always, they're clear stamps, you can always mount them back onto your acrylic block if you want. So don't be afraid to get a good pair of scissors and cut your stamps apart if you need to kind of change the way that they're uh, lined up on your card. So this, I'm just going in with a pen, gold and black, and just kind of accentuating some of those lines, adding some dots just to change up the stamp set just a little. Again, not adding too much time, just, you know, a minute or two, just to kind of jazz up this card a little bit. And here's a picture of that one. And that is it. I have given you six ideas. First of all, I'm laughing right now that that balloon card is upside down. I'm just now noticing it on my photo. But anyway, I've got you six cards for you, uh, designs that you can choose from. Hopefully, if you need a last minute birthday card, uh, this will get you covered, right? Because we all forget. Always. It's okay. It's all right. Don't beat yourself up over it. I do it all the time. I even have alerts on my calendar on my phone, and it tells me when people's birthdays are coming up. I set alarms for like a week early, two weeks early in case I need to mail them. Yep, still late all the time. It's all right. Welcome to the club. Thanks for joining me. And if you're not a subscriber, please subscribe and give this video a thumbs up. It lets YouTube know that you liked it. Thanks for watching.